If you guys haven't seen this clip already, you have to check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description in this video. It'll take you right to the clip. It's about 30 seconds long. United Airlines. Wonderful United Airlines. Got to love United, right? They overbooked a flight, okay, which is bad enough already, which they do all the time, okay? And they asked for volunteers. They needed at least four people to volunteer to give up their seat to have room for the crew. They had no room for their crew to sit down anywhere after they overbooked this flight, okay? So after nobody volunteered to give up at first, they said they were just going to randomly start picking names. Two eventually did, uh, that, that were picked, did end up getting off. No problem. Didn't give any sort of an issue whatsoever, except when it came to one man in particular who claimed to be a doctor and that he could not give up his seat because he had patients to get to in the morning. And there's just, he's just like, I'm just not going to do it. I, I paid for my seat. Why should I have to get up? Why should I have to leave? Well, what ensued there? Guys, this is recorded on a Facebook live video on Sunday. Security came on board. They violently ripped the man from his seat. They dragged him pretty much with his face implanted into the, into the you know, onto the floor of the plane. Dragged him out of there. They had this clip. Shows his face all bloody. Okay. What do these security guards think they are? You're going to take a man like that and violently rip him from his seat. His face is all is all cut up. He's bleeding, everything like that. People are screaming. I mean, the man himself, you got to check out the video, but the man himself just was screaming. I mean, I'm talking just these screams, these unheard of screams, not to mention all the other passengers that were on the flight. They were going nuts themselves saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you nuts? Are you crazy? Look what you did to him. Look what you did. I mean, guys, this was insane. It was as if the man had some sort of a weapon on him or something like that. No, no, no. Nothing like that at all. Just ripped him from the seat, dragged him out with his face just scraping across the floor of the plane. I mean, my God, guys. I mean, what? this is United Airlines' fault. You know, and I'm sorry. I, I'm, you know, and I want to hear your guys' opinions, too. I want to get everyone's opinion about what, what you think about what they did. If you haven't seen the clip, watch it. Then let me know what you think. Um, uh, but again, uh, they <laughs> removed it. The flight was another two hours delayed after that before it even got off. Now, according to the witnesses, they said United overbooked the flight and they needed the four seats to go for their standby crew. And again, nobody volunteered until one of the managers came on board the aircraft and said that four, quote, volunteers, basically you're going to be voluntold. You're going to be voluntold that you need to give up your seat, get off the plane. It was randomly selected by some sort of a computer or that's what they say uh, anyway like that. Okay. But according to the witnesses, he said that the man that was ripped said that he was a doctor and that he couldn't take a later flight because he had patients he needed to see at his hospital in the morning. And at that point, that's when the security officers boarded the plane. They asked the man again to leave. They say that the, uh, the, the three men security guards were wearing all sorts of radio equipment. Uh, and then the security, security jacket speaking with the man, still refusing to get out of his seat. Uh, and that's when they grabbed him. You heard the screams from the man. Chaos ensued. Um, he continued to scream and you could see this video again, guys, you got, I mean, just dragging him, dragging him out, face scraping up against the, uh, the bottom of the plane. Other passengers said it was just a, a state of shock, horror, everything like that. United Airlines, I don't know why anybody would even want to fly with them at, at this point. I, I really don't. Uh, I mean, they're going to have to do something about this. They're going to have to, I mean, they're, they're going to be in some serious trouble. It just, this just really disgusted me when I saw this, they really should have, you know, listened to the guy again. It's, it's United airlines fault. You know, you're the, if you're going to be that incompetent to overbook your flight, but they do this all the time, but you put these people paying customers in the position to have to give up their seat. And then to top it off, you just violently just drag the man out of there. Like he's some sort of an animal or something like that. Absolutely insane. Just, just absolutely incredibly insane. Anyway, guys, I'll put the link below. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Share the video out there with friends and family as well if you would like to. Um, pray for this man as well. Pray that he'll recover from the injuries. I hope he sues the airlines for this. I, I really hope he does. I haven't heard whether or not if he's going to, but if he hasn't, I hope he really considers it. The brutality of ripping him off the flight like that, absolutely insane. Again, I'll put the link below, guys. Subscribe to my channel here. CardsFan480, I'll have the link in the YouTube description. 
Guys, all right, also, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, make the decision to do so today. Let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God. We'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. There's no pain. There's no suffering in heaven. With Jesus Christ, it's perfect peace. It's perfect harmony. Nothing but joy. Nothing but happiness up there. All right, guys, I'll continue to keep you up to speed here at my channel on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates, guys. So just keep it tuned here. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.